Hello, I'm going to read the story of Ferdinand. Have you ever heard of the story of Ferdinand? It's by Monroe Leaf, and the drawings are by Robert Lawson. So I'm going to read the story, and then I'm going to show you the picture. The story of Ferdinand. Once upon a time in Spain, There was a little bull, and his name was Ferdinand. All the other little bulls he lived with would run and jump and butt their heads together. But not Ferdinand. He liked to sit just quietly and smell the flowers. Look at him there smelling the flowers. Can you believe it? He had a favorite spot out in the pasture under a cork tree. It was his favorite tree, and he would sit in its shade all day and smell the flowers. Sometimes his mother, who was a cow, would worry about him. She was afraid he would be lonesome all by himself. I can understand that, can you? Look at him, all alone. Why don't you run and play with the other little bulls and skip and bite your head, she would say. But Ferdinand would shake his head. I like it better here where I can just sit quietly and smell the flowers. There's his mama talking to him. And see, he's saying, I'm sorry, mom. I'm not listening to you. I'm different from the other little bulls. His mother saw that he was not lonesome. And because she was an understanding mother, even though she was a cow, she let him just sit there and be happy. As the years went by, Ferdinand grew and grew until he was very big and strong. So big. See how he's growing? They're marking the tree every time he grows a bit. All the other bulls who had grown up with him in the same pasture would fight each other all day. They would butt each other and stick each other with their horns. What they wanted most of all was to be picked to fight at the bullfights in Madrid. Here they are. And they see the poster for the bullfight and they want to be part of the bullfight. What's going to happen now? But not Ferdinand. He still liked to sit just quietly under the cork tree and smell the flowers. Can you see that picture? See him sitting right there? One day, Five men came in very funny hats to pick the biggest, fastest, roughest bull to fight in the bullfights in Madrid. All 
while the other bulls ran around snorting and butting, leaping and jumping so the men would think that they were very, very strong and fierce and pick them. Ferdinand knew that they wouldn't pick him and he didn't care. So he went out to his favorite cork tree to sit down. That was a good idea, right? Just have a seat, wait till all the commotion passes. He didn't look where he was sitting. Uh-oh. And instead of sitting on the nice cool grass in the shade, he sat on a bumblebee. Oh no! <gasps> what do you think happened? Oh, there's the bumblebee sitting and uh oh. Well, if you were a bumblebee and a bull sat on you, what would you do? You would sting him. And that is just what this bee did to Ferdinand. Look at his face. Oh, poor Ferdinand. It's a pretty good drawing that Robert Lawson did of his really terrifying and expressive face. Wow, did it hurt. Ferdinand jumped up with a snort. He ran around puffing and snorting, butting and pawing the ground, you know, kind of like pawing the ground as if he were crazy. Sorry. The five men saw him and they all shouted with joy. Here was the largest, fiercest bull of all. Just the one for the bullfights in Madrid. Look. <laughs> so they took him away for the bullfight day in a cart. the cart and there's Ferdinand. I wonder what he's thinking. I wonder if he understands what's going to be expected of him. What a day it was. Flags were flying, bands were playing. Very exciting for everyone but Ferdinand, huh? And all the lovely ladies had flowers in their hair. Ooh, put their hair up, put flowers in it. Pretty cool. They had a parade into the bull ring. This is amazing drawing. Look at this. Can you see it? First came the banderilleros with long, sharp pins with ribbons on them to stick in the bull and make him mad. Next came the picadores who rode skinny horses and they had long spears to stick in the bull and make him matter. Next came the matador, the proudest of all. He thought he was very handsome and bowed to the ladies. He had a red cape and a sword and was supposed to stick the bull last of all. Then came the bull, and you know who that was, don't you? Ferdinand. They 
called him Ferdinand the Fierce, and all the banderilleros were afraid of him, and the picadores were afraid of him, and the matador was scared stiff. Ferdinand ran into the middle of the ring and everyone shouted and clapped because they thought he was going to fight fiercely and butt and snort and stick his horns around. But all the people waiting in the bull ring But not Ferdinand. When he got to the middle of the ring, he saw the flowers and all the lovely ladies' hair, and he just sat down quietly. And he smelled. He wouldn't fight and be fierce no matter what they did. He just sat and smelled and the banderilleros were mad and the picadores were madder and the matador was so mad he cried because he couldn't show off with his cape and sword so they had to take Ferdinand home And for all I know, he is sitting there still under his favorite cork tree, smelling the flowers just quietly. And he is very happy. And that's the story of Ferdinand, my friends. Did you see it? It's a wonderful story about being yourself. No matter what anyone else says, it's a good book to think about no matter how old you are. I hope you enjoyed hearing this story today. I'll read you more stories another day. Bye from Grandma and Pop-Ups Storytime.